it's a tinted moisturizer kind of day, you know what I mean? So it is, let's see, about 10.15 now and I have been wearing this Jack Black lip balm for about two hours. I put it on first thing this morning because I was just not having actually filming so I did film like me applying it and I have some notes. So the first thing that I wanted to comment on when I was applying it is I feel like you have to squeeze really hard to get any of the product to go through the little tip which just feels it's really annoying frankly. I feel like the product is just like a little bit too thick for this kind of packaging. I don't know if it would, it would definitely not do better with a doe foot. It has to be this kind of packaging for the texture that it is. It's like a really super thick Vaseline. I believe it's lanolin based. So I don't know if they should have just made like the applicator tip a little bit bigger so that you could get more product out easier, but it's, it is a little bit of like a, a squeeze to be able to get the product out in the first place. This is the black tea and blackberry scent and it smells just a it smells really good although it does kind of smell like um kind of like a blackberry candy. It doesn't really have much of a black tea scent to it but I do enjoy it. That being said it has a taste to it and it has not faded away in the last couple of hours which frankly I'm a little bit surprised about. Usually a scent or a taste doesn't really last that long with a lip product but here we are two hours later and I have eaten breakfast in the time since and I can definitely like taste it on my lips especially when I was eating my breakfast so that was like a little bit a little bit weird for me but it is so comforting so soothing my lips feel really hydrated really smooth they don't look like super plump or super like it's not like a perfecting looking lip balm, but it is just so nourishing. My lips feel really nice. We are about like two hours into it and I'm not feeling all that much left on my lips. So I will let you know when we get to like the end where I like absolutely have to reapply and there's nothing at all left. But keep in mind that I did have a full meal since putting this on. I'll check back in in a little bit. My apologies for the dramatic shift in lighting, but it is now raining and really dark, but it is almost noon and it has totally worn off my lips. It's like completely gone. There's nothing left, which would put it at a grand total of almost four hours of wear, which isn't like terrible, but it's not like amazing either. Like the Bite um, Agave Lip Mask wears quite literally all night long into the next morning and it's still like on your lips you can feel it and I don't blame them for not lasting longer than four hours but it is kind of nice to have it last longer than four hours you know what I mean my lips don't feel chapped my lips don't feel worse which like when it when you get a lip balm that makes your lips feel worse after wearing it it's just like the least satisfying waste of money that there can be but my lips feel really nice and prepped i feel like i can put another lipstick on on top of them and not have to like aggressively scrub off a layer of like oil or anything it feels really nice for seven dollars it's not that bad of a deal there are far more expensive lip balms that you can buy that do far less for you and you can just buy straight up Vaseline that doesn't really do anything for your lips besides seal in non-existent moisture. All in all I am a fan but there are a couple little things that I'm like not in love with like the fact that you have to squeeze it so hard to get it out and I do wish that it lasted a little longer. But that is all I have for you today. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.